Enough. Enough. Caiaphas didn't call this meeting just so you can all rant and rave. Sorry about that. I think it's fair to say everyone's tempers are high. But this isn't what our people are expecting from our religious leaders. Quite. It's just we've got quite a bit to get off our chest with uh, what with all that Jesus has been going around saying. He called us a brood of vipers. It was awful, wasn't it, Jonah? Yep. You don't need to tell us. Why do you think that we call this meeting? Sorry, you call this meeting? I think it was more of a group decision. Who went and made you lot in charge? What? Of course we're in charge. Aren't we, Aaron? Well, it seems a natural fit for us to take lead. Bartholomew and I are Sadducees, after all. Society's natural leaders. You think you're our natural leaders? We're the voice of the people. If anyone is in charge here, it's the Pharisees. Isn't that right, Jonah? You're right. Everyone knows the Sadducees are stuck up know-it-alls. Right, Jonah? Oh, yes. How dare you? You take that back. I'll have you know, I know nothing. Typical stuck up Who are you calling know it all? Take that back. Enough! I called this meeting. Whether you were a Sadducee or a Pharisee, Jesus is a threat to all of us. Yes, of course, Caiaphas. We meant no disrespect, Your Holiness. Isn't that right, Jonah? Of course not. Right. Now that we've all settled down, let's proceed, shall we? Fine. All right. Right, Bartholomew, could you please keep the minutes? No problem, boss. One, two, three, four. What are you five. doing? Looks like he's counting, doesn't it, Jonah? Certainly does, Ezra. Bartholomew, why are you counting? You told me to keep the minutes. If I don't count, I'll lose track. Pretty sure that means keeping note of everything that's going on rather than counting. Our natural leaders? You've got to be joking. Pull the other one. Hey, Jonah? Yes. You know what? Forget about the minutes. Probably better we don't have a record of this meeting. Possibly not. Definitely not, I would say. Yeah, you agree, don't you, Jonah? I do, Ezra. So, what are we going to do about this Jesus, then? Well, we've been giving it some thought. Tremendous amount of thought, to be honest. Haven't we, Jonah? Please. And we thought we could make some law against listening to Jesus. Of course you did. And what's that supposed to mean? I think what our colleague is suggesting is that you and your friends are just very keen on making more laws. Keen? More like obsessed. I can see it now. Don't pluck a grey hair out of your head on the Sabbath and make sure you don't go anywhere near Jesus. Watch it, mate. We could make a law getting everyone to poke you in the eye. Isn't that right, Jonah? Oh, yes. Uh, okay, everyone, let's just take it down a notch. I don't think passing a law is going to be enough. Not nearly enough. So what is your plan? Cozy up to the Romans like you always do? Well, yes. Typical. You lot are so friendly with the Emperor, you might as well move to Rome. Typical, eh, Jonah? Typical. Well, doesn't that make sense? We bring it before a religious court, make sure everyone knows it is a blasphemer, and drag him before Pilate and get him to do the dirty business for us. Wait, you want to kill him? Of course. It's the only way. Are you sure? Do you think we'd be here if we weren't? Do we even know where Jesus currently is? Could be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Couldn't it, Jonah? In a haystack. Listen, we know where Jesus is, all right? We came up with a cunning plan. Well, <laughs> might be more accurate to say I came up with a cunning plan. Who cares who came up with the plan? Just tell us what it is. We've paid off one of his disciples to lead the guys right to him. Yeah, and how much was that? I bet it was a lot. 
You Sadducees always throw the money around. Isn't that right, Jonah? You said it. It was 30 pieces of silver. Is that all? I wasn't asking much to hand over his leader, especially if he thought he was the Messiah. Well, luckily for us, he seemed to be more interested in counting money than following Messiah. Anyway, what do you think? It's not bad. Yeah. Who are the natural leaders now? There's just one problem, isn't there, Jonah? There is. What problem? There's no problem. The plan is foolproof. <laughs> Unlike some people. Isn't that right, Jonah? Yeah. What's that meant to mean? Did you just call me stupid? Give over, Bartholomew. What's the problem? Uh, Jesus hasn't done anything wrong. Trust us, we wish he had, but anytime we've thought we've caught him out, he comes up with some clever argument and leaves us looking like fools. Isn't that right, Jonah? Yep. I'm sure we can find some upstanding members of our community who would prefer to see things from our point of view. That's if you don't mind breaking one of your many, many laws. Well, you know what they say. Laws are made to be broken. Isn't that what they always say, Jonah? That's what they always say. Well, there you have it. It looks like, for once, we are in agreement. It would appear we have a common enemy. Yes, and that we have come up with a plan. Our question is, do we proceed? Good question, boss. I guess that would be up to the high priest. We bow to his authority, don't we, Jonah? Do as well. There is only one option that I can see, only one option that protects us, protects our people. Jesus must be killed. Mm -hmm.